Uh, this is the D2 dentist who was nice meeting you. G <laughs> Gamers 8, yo. Yo, shout out. Anyone else who, who met me at Gamers 8 as well? You guys are all sweethearts. Honestly, the best people. Um, I'll, talk, I'll, I'll have to yeah, tell all of you guys later on about how the experience was. But for now, we've got a live show match. And it's quite an interesting one because... Well, it should be a mismatch uh, on paper. And I think one aspect of the game will be a bit of a mismatch. I think kickoffs will be a mismatch. Toxic's got some of the best kickoffs in the world. Joyo. Uh, well, he's a, he's a free play main slash threes main who just yesterday decided to grind ones all night and he was telling me that it was going pretty well for himself. Uh, he's lost two kickoffs in a row though and Toxic has turned that into two goals, one directly and this one quickly after converting a strong possession play. So I'm excited to see what Joyo can get up to here. I think once he's on the ball, he's going to have a high score rate, but um, kickoffs defense probably going to go the way of Toxic, I would assume. Um, uh, Joyo has given me a little, bit, a little bit of an input into how he likes to play this. He likes to be extremely aggressive. Um, he's been just trying to really go for it and improve his challenge game. So, for example, <laughs> just lunging in on the back wall. Um, but yeah, he also just has been feeling good right now in 1v1. So he's pretty confident, but uh, also, you know, the fact that Toxic is a beast definitely puts him in an advantageous position. Joyo's going to be scoring here, surely, though. That is a really good shot. Oh my goodness, Toxic saves it one more time, but now Joyo surely scores. No, you're joking. Toxic doesn't save this. What? How is he not conceded off this? Joyo will put it in, surely. Okay, now I can see it. <laughs> now I can see it. What was that? Defense from Toxic. Oh my goodness. Joyo tried to like make absolutely sure that he was saving that he, that he was scoring here. He uh, didn't want to rush the shot on the goal line, I believe. Although there might have been a way that he could have just I mean, I think if he just banged it from close range, there's a decent shot that it's in. Um, but I think he was afraid of doing that in case Toxic somehow pre-flipped into a save. Uh, because yeah, Joyo gives the ball a bunch of momentum without 50-50ing it then it might just ping off in a random direction. So I think he just tried to force it over the line there. <laughs> Toxic still saved it. Absolutely unreal. That's a great recovery though by Joyo. Inverted half flip to stay on the ball as Toxic now flexes the wave dashes. He's not going too quickly there, so he couldn't really build up too much momentum. I think you can already tell based on this start of the first game by Joyo compared to, look at this delayed uh, play as well. He didn't even go for the boost seal. He's just playing the ball. Joyo really improved since his last show match. He played uh, just one show match in my stream against his teammate Rise uh, a while ago. Look at that awareness. Just knowing that Toxic's completely out of boost. A lot of players would have just ran into the corner boost there to steal it away and given Toxic a chance to grab a little 12 pad or so. Or two. Um, but Joyo just knew that he's in a very good position. No need to do anything about that, but he's got to be really careful in these kickoffs. He might need to start doing wave dash recovery kickoffs. It's toxic is crushing him right now, and he's just, you know, going to keep on flexing his kickoff repertoire. This time, Joyo does get a look at it. And, of course, he doesn't say no to these opportunities. Joyo to the air with the reset. And instead of flicking, just shoots the ball on the landing to the bottom corner. Toxic completely stunned on that defensive play. So I can't say I'm surprised too much by how the game is going so far. I've not seen any of Joyo's rank grind. I think he's up to top 50 in the world after, after just playing from 1300 or something yesterday. Um, but yeah, he, he gave me a little bit of a clue of how he likes to play. He just likes to you know, try and stay as aggressive as possible, understanding that his shadowing is definitely not up to uh, the world class level just yet. So expect to see a lot of charging challenges and mostly using shadowing and... Uh, more passive positions as sort of something to supplement his defense with. That's a great snipe. Joyo up by one. And Toxic definitely being a bit confused by Joyo's playstyle. Great bump there. Zero boost. Air roll shot. Going in the bottom right corner. Bubble Snipe, thanks to the three month prime. Also, it's Spency Car for the brand new prime. Thank you. Aeros RL, thanks to the 10 month tier one and four month prime from Sadomas. Welcome uh, back to all of you guys. Joyo's missed a zero boost open net there just after scoring one seconds ago, but he's still in a very good position. Toxic has to awkwardly guide this into the corner, but he's done that pretty effectively. Joy actually trying to muscle Toxic off the ball here. And that's a, a position where it's sometimes risky to flip into your opponent. Better to, well, you're going to get more of an impact usually um, on your opponent if both of you have a bunch of momentum. At low speeds, often flipping into your opponent just sends 
you the wrong way. And they just uh, shrug it off like it's nothing. Toxic ties 4-4. Four, four. Stroyo tried to roll with the ball. Toxic completely blocked him. And wave dashes to get into a scoring position. Yeah, this is so far going pretty much as expected. Toxic winning the majority of the kickoffs. Joyo looking terrifying in offense. Uh, but you can clearly see that he's improved massively with his positioning, his boost and management. Just his general awareness of 1v1 in a very, very quick time. And if you watch this first show match played on my channel, you'll see progression, even in that show match itself, against his teammate Rise. Uh, Joyo was getting a ton better just in the course of five games. If he could do that again against Toxic, and this is what game one looks like, then we might be in for a treat here. Joyo trying to dodge the demo there, but he missed time to actually land it on the wall after uh, trying to jump over the demo. And yeah, it didn't look like the jump actually sent him over Toxic at all. Is uh, First Killer serious about doing show matches? Uh, I have to think so, because yeah, he tweeted at me that he wants to get back into show matches, and he also, uh, yeah, he told me in person. Phenomenal defense there by Joyo. Look at the boost management as well. Toxic missed the steal. Joyo did have 20 to play with. Now this looks pretty good for him. Here double bump, but look at Toxic go. Joyo was trying to find him. He just couldn't spot him. He's thinking, is he under me? Is he like to my left? I'm not sure. Just tried to guess. And uh, Toxic stayed out of the screen and in a safe location. Yeah, hopefully we can get first killer on for, uh, for some show matches. I, I'm not going to have time to do another show match after this one tonight, most likely. If this is a sweep, then we might be able to do one. If it's a, well, a quick sweep, if we don't have long overtimes. Uh, then I might have time to jump into another show match, but I don't want to uh, stream for longer than maybe an hour and ten minutes from now. Because uh, I've got to get ready to go do uh, first podcast in a while, actually, uh, on Rizzo's channel. Joyo says, I don't understand this wave dash kickoff. I, I think he's probably just figuring out right now that Toxic has some of the absolute best kickoffs in the world. Now, that's great defense by Joyo. He's still got a chance of winning this game. Looks for the wave dash outplay, but Toxic's all over him. Now, Joyo's just going to have to rush this. He doesn't have time to go for a big elaborate wall play. Has to go straight for the goal. That's what he's trying to do. I think he might actually have it. Delays the flick, but doesn't get underneath the ball. And Toxic confirms the win with a solid defensive stand in the closing seconds. Yeah, Toxic's Wave Dash recovery kickoff is definitely one of the absolute best in the world. The speed that he's able to land after um, the kickoff is really what makes it impressive. That's a great read, actually, by <laughs> Toxic. And uh, Toxic's uh, replied to Joel saying, it's so important, uh, talking about the Wave Dash recovery kickoff. It is very important. I think it's uh, probably the most important kickoff these days uh, for 1v1 players to, to learn. Joyo says it's cringe. Toxic agrees. I disagree. Uh, Joyo says it's like Spanish kickoff in twos. What do you guys think? Do you guys think the Wave Dash recovery kickoff is cringe? Uh, would you say it's similar to the... Uh, when when uh, Joyo says Spanish kickoff, he says... Uh, well, he means the demo kickoff. Mind game demo kickoff. Necessary evil, he's calling it. I, I, think it's, uh, I think it's a great strategy. I think the Wave Dash recovery kickoff's the opposite of cringe. I think it's cool. That, that, that might just be me. Fox Pal, thanks to 20 month Prime and uh, State Carnage, thanks for 28 month tier one. The KI, thanks for 52 month tier one. Aquion, thanks for the two month Prime as well. Appreciate all the resubs, guys. Yeah, the reason I like the Wave Dash uh, recovery kickoff is because if somebody's really not feeling it with the kickoffs uh, on a particular day, then it's a good way to kind of stabilize. It's a it's a kickoff strategy that gets you less kickoff goals, but it also helps you concede less goals. Oh my, I didn't see how sick that shot was from Toxic. Getting a reset kind of at a diagonal angle and then wrapping round the ball for a very fast shot. Yeah, what makes Toxic so dangerous on the kickoffs is that his default kickoff, his standard kickoff is very strong. His wave dash kickoff, one of the best in the world. And then he's also got a bunch of other timings and, uh, you know, the complete fake kickoffs as well, so he, he can really just do it, do it all. I think his repertoire is up there with anyone else in the world. You know, I struggle to think of anyone who I... I, I don't think anyone is just better at Toxic uh, than Toxic at kickoffs, really. Um, but we'll have to wait and see how he does for the rest of the show match. Can he do it under pressure? Most of the stunning kickoff matches I've seen from him have been ranked matches. Theo Smashwood, thanks for the brand new Prime. 
Welcome to the channel. That would have been a difficult position for Joel to, uh, to air dribble from. From the back corner wall. But have certainly ran out of boost. Unless he did a reset or two along the way. He's challenging very well though. I like Joel's challenges when he's coming forward at the ball. I think he's picking the right angles. He's covering shots on his approach. Let's see if Toxic can cover this one. The answer is no. But what on earth happened here on the goal line? That kind of looked like Toxic warped around the ball. I'm not sure how he managed this. Okay, he was just a bit too low. Joy might have dunked on him, actually. But yeah, Toxic jumped off the wall a bit too low. Hit the ball upwards, uh, either into his own net or into Joy's car. And for once, Toxic's a bit too low on the ball with his wave dash recovery setup. And that allows Joy to just barrel right through him. And Joyle's in a really big winning position here. Doesn't steal away the small pads. That could be a mistake. You see Toxic just passed over them en route to that challenge in the back corner. Joyo could have taken a slight, a slightly less direct approach to that ball um, and taken the small pads as well as the big pad away. He will be scoring after not too much delay. Toxic trying to hit the ball into the inside of his own post. He can only hit it into the inside of his own net. Uh, no, I've not seen Joyo's new montage on Twitter, actually. I'll maybe, have to, maybe I'll have to check that out. Zohair M, thanks for the two months tier one. Welcome back to the channel. Oh, sorry about the screen freeze. My game just decided to alt-tab. Oh, Toxic's faked out Joyo. I'm not sure if he meant this um, when he jumped off the wall. I think he just left the ball because it was in a bad position for him. Yeah, he thought about going for a reset. It wasn't in the best position for one. So he just flies down behind it and Joyo overestimated what Toxic was capable of. Anticipating a touch. Didn't get it to work. Now, big kickoff on the inside from Toxic. Slams another one into the net. Joyo side onto the ball here. And if you're going to be that side onto the ball, you better hope your opponent is as well. Toxic was not. Now Joyo actually the one to delay his kickoff approach. That is interesting. Expected to see that from Toxic, but Joyo showing he's got some other strategies to go to as well. He's running out of boost here. Might have to bail from the attack. Back corner is not going to be available for another few seconds, but Joyo manages to turn it into a shot on target anyway. Now, Toxic's going to be fine. That's a great result for Joyo. He didn't look like he'd be able to dispossess Toxic in the back corner, but found a way to do it. Now, I think Toxic's going to have to bail from Joyo's back corner. It's a bit of a role reversal here. Toxic's trying to waste some time, but he knew eventually this is a position he's going to need to leave. He couldn't take the ball back down the line with him, and he'll have to leave without it. Joyo faking a shot now, looking to take off in reverse for the reset. Had to lean back for that one, but he manages it. And here dribbles into a rebound and a dunk at the same time. That is otherworldly from Joyo. Difficult reset to do cleanly, but after landing it, he just drilled the ball underneath the crossbar. He clearly has it. Toxic is a beast right now in once. He's up there. You know, his show match record is not... Um, I, I put him tier, what was it? I think I put him B tier, but close to the top of B tier. Um, because his show match record is not yet as impressive as uh, I think it will be soon. But this just shows how, how quickly Joyle's learned the game mode. And I think this is going to be true for pretty much all. Oh my goodness, what a save. That flick was monstrous and Joyle saved it. Yeah, like I said, I think this is going to be true for anyone who's grinded free play as much as Joyle has. Eventually... You're going to learn how to play free play with another player in the lobby with you. How did he save that shot? And now Toxic with a very nice save as well. He's got to be careful with that boost total though. Initially thinking about being a bit trigger friendly, but let go. Toxic commits. He didn't get to the boost though. This is a bit of a disaster for him. Joyo looking to flick top shelf. Has to bail out of that one. Misses the boost deal as well. Toxic will be pretty happy to see that. A couple of attacks there. Joyo was looking good. Another flick from Toxic, this time more easily saved by Joyo. Toxic escapes the demo on the chase and looks to attack quickly. Doesn't want to give Joyo a chance to play for the back corner boost. Joyo gets just enough on the challenge to send it wide. Toxic's recovering quickly as well though, leaves mid boost. Joyo doesn't even take it. Both players are playing for the ball. That's a great break check by Toxic. Joyo flew right by him. It's been a defensive game here in game number two. Well, a game where Defense has certainly been the highlight. Toxic again avoiding being demoed. Now Joyo 
with 100 boost to zero. But Toxic Force of 50 way into Joyle's half. This is not ideal for our newcomer to the one scene. Would have loved to keep the ball near to Toxic Skull there. Keep his boost total nice and low. Joyle reset just for the wave dash landing. Fakes Toxic off the plate. Wants to bump. Gets the bump. And takes the lead. Just four seconds left. Joyle pulls out the pop bump and connects with Toxic right on the goal line. Hasn't gone for that too many times. He's been very reset focused with his air dribbles. But can he nail the kickoff? Toxic's been so consistent. He doesn't go for the big win, actually. Toxic just wants a possession play. Joyo wants a goal. 5-3. That's game two for Joyo. No sweep here. Joyo looking like the real deal, ladies and gentlemen. His positioning's on point. His offense, there is never any question about that. And he's already managed to even out that kickoff disadvantage. Yeah, Joyo is very smart for a for a ones, uh, or rather for a threes guy. For for a threes and free play guy, I could tell from the first time I saw him play against Rise that yeah, he'd definitely pick up ones pretty quickly. There's just a you know that X factor about some players. You see them play. You know, a handful of ones games. In the first game, they look shocking. Second game, big improvement. Third game, bigger improvement. That, that's when you really know that if somebody just put the time in, they're going to get good. I think free play is the way to do it. It's probably the, the free play mains will switch to ones more easily than any other type of main, like twos mains, threes mains. It's going to be tough to switch to, to ones and have success, but Joyo's a free play main. Does it for hours and hours every day. When am I doing the long top uh, players video? Usually just uh, going to skip some... Well, actually, we couldn't do a top uh, 25 players list with um, the boys after London because a bunch of people were just not available. At their, well, none of us... We were all off at different times, I guess, but we're definitely going to do one if we can. Uh, t -Bates doesn't have internet yet. If he gets it before the end of the week, we might be able to sneak one in before CJ CJ goes to... Um, Dallas for World Championship prep. That's a sick mind game by Joyo. He's so sneaky. He says he won a kickoff. I think he's won a couple of kickoffs actually, but he really won a kickoff this time and went for somewhat of a floor pinch at slow speed. Yeah, big brain plays by Moist Joyo. Lordzilla, thanks to the brand new Prime. Also, Zohir Emma, two months. Toxic's going to no doubt try and turn around as quickly as he can here. Keep Joy on low boost. Although it's Toxic's going for quite a high bounce dribble, and that's because he wants to see underneath the ball. He doesn't want Joy to surprise him with these early challenges that he has prioritized. Toxic now flicking the ball into his own crossbar. That's a confident save there on the low hook shot by Joy. That corner boost grab incoming. Look at the timing from Toxic. Knows exactly when it's going to be. Joyo steals one away. Toxic's going for the pinch and drills into the ground and actually hits the ceiling as well. That's some pace he had on that one, but inaccurate, unfortunately. Would have worked though. Joyo is not ready for the pinch shot. And somehow, Joyo has snuck the ball past Toxic again. I think Toxic's dodged the wrong way here because fakes the ceiling challenge. Joyo comes down to the ground, completely countering the fake challenge. But yeah, Toxic flips the wrong way. Didn't think that Joyo was going to really flip into the ball there. Expected a fake. Okay, well, the kickoff main has actually blundered the setup. Still bails it out into a reasonable position. Now, Joyo, the flip reset main, has missed a flip reset. So both players with uh, uncharacteristic mistakes there, leading to an equalizer for Toxic. Oh yeah, thanks to the 18 month prime. Welcome to the channel. Sorry, I just got to really quickly reply to it. I just realized I've ignored Rizzo. Sorry, Rizzo. I've also made them watch a, kick, a really bad goal. Sorry, sorry, players. <laughs> All right. Back in the game, Toxic up by one. Ratio, I don't know, Ratio Rizzo, just replying to it, man. No, 
I love how I say I'm replying to Risen. You guys just assume that I'm replying to him on Twitter to try and ratio him. Like, not every reply is an attempted ratio, guys. As much as the Rocket League scene, whatever you think it is. Let's see how confident Toxic is. Well, that answers the question. Deep air dribble kick takeoff. Joy's uh, jo actually stayed extremely little sight of it the entire way, though. Hardly had to use any boost to get the save. When did I start playing Rocket League? I started playing Rocket League right about the time that Dominus came out. Just around about there. Another very even game and a low scoring game is. I will admit, not what I was expecting for this matchup. Game one was. Well, game one started off exactly the way that I thought this matchup would go. You know, Toxic taking the majority of kickoff control, Joyo looking undefendable whenever he gets control of the ball. Um. It's turned into a bit of a defensive battle between these two. Toxic pays back Joyo for last game's pop bump. Are there any Dominus mains anymore? I don't, I don't know, actually. All right, Joyo's got to be careful here. You have to stay inside the goal because he's worried about Toxic. Just bolting across the box for a demo there. Toxic completely countered the fake kickoff Joyo went for. He's had control since that moment. Joyo manages to force a 50. That's going to give him options. He chooses back corner boost. The ball did not sit too well for Toxic at all, but he's lining up a big flick. Instead, decides not to flip into it. Looks like the setup just rolled a bit too far off the front of his car. Toxic going to battle Joyo for aerial supremacy, and he's got it. He's got a flip to work with here. He's going to take his time, though. Toxic going to slow roll Joyo, knock a couple seconds off the clock as well. Joyo... Being forced to go all the way back to his half just to see the goal explosion from close range. Yeah, you know, fans in Scrub vs. Marky days, the, the original number one and two of 1v1. Oh, great read by Joyo, uh, by Toxic, I should say. Joyo is looking to sneak a challenge in here. Toxic able to get a perfect first touch to bait it and then flick the ball over the top of it. Yeah, there are, the OCE uh, scene, I think, has the most Dominus players. You know, occasionally AJ plays... Well, I don't know if he played it recently in ones, but I've seen I've seen AJ play Dominus 1v1 a fair bit in the past couple of years. This game's really gotten out of hand for Joyo. Oh, look at this from Toxic. Did he have a reset? I think he did have a reset there. It looked pretty good. I would have loved to see him just do something with it to prove that he got it, because that was a very interesting uh, reset that he got. Hey, Jarby, thanks for the raid. Hope you had a good stream, man. Hope you're uh, feeling good after traveling. How was your travel back to uh, America from Saudi? I know everybody's flights were kind of weird times. I think the flights out of Saudi Arabia are all really late night, just in case there's a heat wave. And... It's uh, impossible to leave without too much turbulence. How was my experience in Saudi? I'm gonna. I'll, I've got some time after this show match. Probably uh, won't have time to cast another show match today. Um, but I will have some time after the show match to just briefly tell you guys about Gamers Eight, what it was like. Because I know, I know a, a lot of people are going to be quite interested to hear what it was like. Not a place, not a part of the world that many of us in the West have been to. Before going to uh, Riyadh, the only place I've been to is Beirut in Lebanon. One time. That was an extremely, di extremely different experience. Yeah, I saw, I saw First Killer's uh, tweet. He did tweet, he tweeted at me. He said, Johnny boy, we've got to run some show matches. So, I mean, I'm down. Not today because I won't have time, but I'm done for sure. Leaf, you're a pretty cool guy as well, of course. We all know that. You don't, I, you don't need me to tell you. Kukin is looking. Thanks to the five-month year one. Joyo back at it with a one show match. Yeah, looking good as well. I mean, Toxic's one of the ranked grinders. One of the up-and-comers in the EU one scene. You know, he's, he's, he's almost, uh, you know, past the time where we should be calling him an up-and-comer. He's, he's already, like, I'd say tier two for EU. Uh, you know, worldwide, I've got him top of tier three. <laughs> with plays like this. He's ascending. Look at the release from Toxic on this one. Reset. 
And then simply deletes the ball. I mean, Joyo's a guy that you expect to see pulling that kind of shot off the, in this matchup. But Toxic is really becoming a very versatile sort of player. Let's see. Can he keep this up? And finish this one in four. Said it might be Joyo who's improving game to game here. Toxic is excellent at adaptation as well. Goes up by three. Joyo just missed positions for a moment. Thought that he could maybe win the race to the mid boost. Just barely lost it. And the you know downside is that if Toxic loses the race to that mid boost, he's at least got momentum going back towards his goal. So it's a safer race to take. Joyo has momentum away from his net. So if he doesn't get it, he's conceding. Toxic decides not to play too aggressively here. He's landed a pretty bad position for himself. Joyo keeping the ball off the wall. Toxic has to full commit to reach it, but mid boost is there for him. It's not what Joyo was looking for here, and he's probably didn't expect to see Toxic challenging him that high in his own back corner as well. Toxic up in the aggression in game four. And now Joyo trying to trip him up. That's really interesting. He tried to get in the way of Toxic's recovery before taking off, and now he's going to try and get away on the goal line, but Toxic sees that a mile away and scores. So Joyo starting and finishing that offensive play with attempted physical plays. Toxic pretty unaffected by both of them. Yeah, it'd be cool to see Toxic take the Razier's route. I mean, uh, Razier's just recently showed the world at Gamers 8 that he's more than just a top tier ones player. He's gone from you know, being one of the best ones players in Europe to just being one of the top free agents in Europe, and I'm sure he's going to be getting a lot, a lot of tryouts. That's going to be more and more the case, I think, in the coming months and years. 1v1 is going more and more towards an aerial game. Every single year that goes by, a wider array of shots are viable. A wider array of strategies are viable. And that really does enable ones to bring the aerial play to a different level. Joyo trying to be as sneaky as possible in this flip setup. Toxic will be glad to see that that didn't pay off. Had to deflect the ball vertically there. He knew any flat bounce would result in a goal for Joyo. And what's Joyo going to store here? Lean back reset. Big flick on target and a dunk. Toxic dove a bit ahead of that one. Joyo does pull it off. It's interesting to see a lot of people now using uh, the same recovery strategy on the side wall that TRK was doing a bunch at Gamers 8. Instead of air rolling to uh, land just flush on the wall for a wave dash, players have started to flip onto the wall instead and power slide the landing. If you've not seen the flip I'm talking about, I'm sure one of them will do it in the rest of this game. Well, I certainly hope so. Gives you a burst of speed a bit sooner than air, than uh, wave dashing on the sidewall does. Low reset by Toxic. Wave dash in the landing. Joyo only able to stop the ball, not really able to utilize it for a counter attack. Another defensive pinch from Toxic, but he's gone the wrong way with the challenge. <laughs> Joyo walks around him. Toxic looking a bit silly on this one. He thought that Joyo might just shoot this one immediately. Just jumps in case Joyo takes a shot. And uh, Joyo just goes straight past him. Haggis is going, thanks to the Prime. It is indeed. I love, I love a bit of Haggis. you got to make sure to get some uh, something saucy with it, though, because it's not, not the best when it's dry. Uh, no, I've not found TRK Yan, uh, Mateus. Have you, got, have you got the replay? Have you got the replays from... CRK, Yan, and also actually Yan CRR. I don't have Yan CRR. Do I have Yan CRR? I don't think I have Yan CRR either. <laughs> Lovely team play by these two. Joy was trying to avoid the uh, the air dribble bump here, but he <laughs> accidentally own goals while doing it. He did avoid the air dribble bump to his credit, but his initial save turned into an own goal double and into his own net. Toxic looking pretty good here. He's had Great control in this matchup. Nice Joyo could do something special. That should be it, but that's a good start. Joyo just shoots on target once again. 
going straight past him. Okay, we're going to watch this replay one more time. This is a flip I'm talking about for anybody who's wondering what uh, recovery has Johnny been on about. I don't know if it actually shows. I think it does. There you go. So it's an air roll the complete opposite way from the wall that you're going to land in and then flipping onto the wall. Now, that was a bit of an accentuated version that Toxic just did there. Um, but what players will tend to do is try and air roll about maybe 20 degrees away from the wall and then flip onto it. You get to... Uh, well, by doing that, you get to get your burst of speed about 20, 25 degrees sooner. You don't have to air roll 90 degrees. You just get a little bit of a... Maybe, maybe more like 45 degrees would be a more accurate number. I know some players do it a bit more than others. Yeah, you get you just get like, your speed boost a little bit sooner. Toxic, a bit compartmentalized in the setup there for that pinch shot. Didn't look as fluid as it usually does. Like you shouldn't really be bothered too much. Joyo has ground to a halt and Toxic is looking good to take this one in four. Joyo had to pre-jump. He does land a touch on the ball. Uh, without a demo, I think this one's just going to be over. Decides to play the ball instead. And that's going to enable Toxic to cut him off and confirm the win. 7-3. Maybe a little bit of a different score by the end of this. Moxie does it often. Well, actually, what Moxie does uh, for wall recoveries more than any other player in ones right now is he he'll wave dash on the wall and then immediately wave dash on the ground. So he'll try and, or either do wall, wall then ground, or ground then wall. He'll, he'll try and do two quick wave dashes, one after another. That's Moxie's uh, main preferred way of recovering. Um, yeah, you can get lots of different bursts of speed, and they're very common in 1v1. GG's. Toxic. Uh, catching Joy off guard with some... I just say great control. He just got better possession in this game. GG's Toxic on DS4. Recently switch switch controller, I believe. Appreciate these guys coming on. Joel's looking good. Uh, you know, you, you don't want to you don't want to forget that Toxic's one of the top guys in EU um, right now. 